Hey everyone, welcome and thank you for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Uh, we got a lot of things to cover today. We're going to open up some packs. Uh, we're going to talk about a lot of fun stuff. Uh, so let's just get right into it. First and foremost, pack to power a cure. We have been on this journey for over a year now, and we are finally at the final stages. Uh, our pack to power a cure auction went live Monday morning. It is up and running now. Um, I can't tell you how excited I am to have this finally going. Um, a little bit of relief because I'm not going to lie, that was a lot of work put into it, but it was very fun. It's for a very good cause. And then um, we are going to be doing this again um, after we take a, a small hiatus from it, but we're going to pick a a new charity and we're going to do this all over again but if y'all could do me a huge favor down in the description of this video i'm gonna put a link to the ebay auction uh even if you don't share anything else from this channel which i really want you to because that would just be that would just be awesome if you could do that um but if nothing else if you could share the auction link just so it can get as much exposure as possible um i really i, I want this to get as big as it possibly can uh, for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. Um, I want them to get as much as possible. They do get 100% of the proceeds of the auction. So, you know, it's not like we're getting a cut out of it or anything. I just, I want to see as much of it, as much go to them as possible. So, uh, please do that. Share, 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 share on every social media outlet you can possibly think of. Um, you know, maybe uh, make some posters, put them up at your work or your school, um, message in a bottle. I, I don't know if those... If that's really a thing or if it can work or not but whatever um i digress uh, just please please share that um next up um now something you'll have noticed over the years of the channel if you've been watching that long is that we don't regularly promote uh outside things things outside of our channel um we've actually had a couple different sponsorship offers that we turned down just because the companies we didn't feel were a good representation of what we believe of what we want for the magic community so with that being said um i am going to uh, promote a new store here um now they are not a sponsor of ours um this is simply someone that i know that i truly believe that their plans to open a gaming store are going to come to fruition. I, I truly believe that. I, you know, over the past couple of years, I've had probably no less than 40 people say, you know what, I'm, I'm going to start a game store. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start a game store, which I'm not knocking those people. I'm not knocking anyone here. Um, it's, I mean, it, it's, a, it's, it sounds when you first think about it, just like a wonderful, perfect dream job. You get to play magic all day. Um, but it, you know, in the real world, Owning a brick and mortar is an exceptionally difficult task, uh, especially in uh, in the, the landscape of of virtually any form of merchandise um, and and sales is changing. It's greatly favoring the online market. So finding somewhere that can actually open up a place for you to sit down and play paper magic that is no you know, just small task. That is, that's big. Um, so out of those probably 40 people, there were probably 10 that I thought, you know what, Th this person has, I think has what it takes. They might be able to make a run at this. Um, out of all of those people, I believe I can, I can think of one that comes to mind where they actually opened a gaming store. Um, I think, no, I know without a shadow of a doubt that this person that I, I'm plugging here, they are going to be number two to open up a store. Uh, his name is Chris Walton. Uh, he is a, a local player around me, um, and he is opening up a gaming store, a local gaming store with every value that... that we here at Chuck Wagon MTG, every value we hold true, it's the exact same with them. I truly believe that he is going to make an amazing gaming store that is player focused. Um, just, 
I, I can't even put put into words. It's just it, it's you know uh, a a peaceful, welcoming environment um, that values their local customer base as much as their online following um, to make sure that those singles are there. Very few shops do that nowadays. You'll see that you know, there, there's um, so much of their of their single selection goes out online and then which is great because they're making money but then the local player base they're finding it hard to find the cards they need um where chris is is really well i'm sure he will have an online presence his main focus is to make sure that players get the cards they need to be able to play this game that we all love um now with that being said it takes a lot of money to open up a game store I've actually done the math. I looked into it. I wanted to do it. Once I ran the numbers, I decided, no, thank you. Um, I have enough stress in my life. I just, I don't think I could do it. I really don't. Um, so Chris is going to be uh, selling cards. He's selling cards online, trying to raise the capital. He's doing a wonderful job so far. I want to help him get here quicker. Um, so you'll notice that up in the corner here, we've got uh, some cards. These are just cards that I pulled off of uh, his Facebook page. Uh, he essentially made a, a big post about here's all the some of the nicer stuff that I have for sale. Now I do know that he has a much larger selection um, and down in the description of this video we're going to put a link to that post. We're going to put a link uh, to the uh, store's Facebook page and to their actual uh, website. Um, and you can find them, you know, through uh, the uh, TCG on the website and th through Facebook. Um, but I also know that he is uh, more than willing to sell outside of those, uh, outside of TCG. Um, and you're really going to, you're going to find an amazing collection when you check out what he has. Uh, now, one thing I do want to note, and this is something I pulled off of one of his posts, uh, that pretty much most anything $10 and under he doesn't really have listed because he has a rather large assortment of cards uh, at his disposal. So anything on the of the cheaper nature, ten dollars and under, um, you can contact him directly, and he'll let you know if he has it. Um, if he doesn't have it, there's you know probably a decent chance he can get it. Um, but like I said, I just I wanna I wanna help Chris make this happen because I truly believe that. He's going to create the game store um, that that we all want. And um, now he has told me that he wants shipping limited to the U.S. Um, and that's just to keep things easier on his part for right now. Um, if he decides to expand on that later on, I don't know. That's his bag. But anyways, um, I also do want to say that uh, they are not sponsoring us in any way, shape, or form. Um, I just truly believe in what he's doing and I want to help him get there. So, um, and like I said, you've seen these cards that are, that are flashing by up here. These, some of them are some, some pretty big hitter cards. Um, so please, uh, do me a favor, check them out. If there's anything you're looking for and his prices are very, very reasonable. Um, now you're not going to be able to go in and say, tell you what, you know, I'll give you, I'll take everything you have at 60% or 65% or, you know, whatever that that's not this kind of, uh, you know, I guess make a ton of money really quick for something thing. It's, I mean, it is, but it's, it's for starting up a store. Okay. So, uh, so keep that in mind. So, um, and aside from that, I implicitly trust Chris. Um, you're not going to get fake cards. Uh, you're not going to, uh, have grading issues, which I know TCG player is just, sometimes you get some real doozies. Uh, like, you know, this is supposed to be lightly played, but half the card back is missing. So, uh, you're not going to get that with Chris. So, uh, once again, the upkeep games links down below, uh, in the description, uh, just check them out and then, you know, what? spread it. If you could share these links, that would be even better. I know we're asking a lot of you out of this particular video, but I think it'll be worth it. So anyways, uh, next up, what do we got? Oh, um, so, you know, we're going to go ahead and flip over, uh, to our, uh, our other camera here. 
so we're going to open up some packs to put into our Patreon build a pack box just because I haven't opened packs in a few days and I don't know I guess it's kind of like an addiction um, but before we get to that um, I've still got cards that need to be claimed uh, Tornado Joe 87 I think is what my chicken scratch says uh, Travi Trav now I know you commented on the video asking if I still had your contact information I do not so uh, we gotta get that and then we got uh, Pichu uh, Pichu 100 um, if you guys could get a hold of me because um, you only have three days to claim these after that uh, they go into the patreon box so anywho uh, ooh, we also got a nice little little thing here to open but we're gonna save that here for a second so this is going into our patreon build the pack box uh, if you don't know what that is link down below check out our patreon page um, it'll explain all the details essentially all the good stuff we're gonna pull out of this and so you can go into the box uh, Paul Samarasa, Drake, Blood Soaked Altar, and then a ley line of anticipation and then a foil murder so that's going into the box uh, we don't put lands in there um, this stuff will get mixed in just into the commons and uncommon slots. See, we got in the next pack, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. No foil in this one. Let's see, we got God's Willing, Blight Beetle, Manifold Key, and then Loxodon, Life Chanter. Alrighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another one, no foil. All right. We got Chandra, Eternal Isolation, Season of Growth, and Knight of the Ebon Legion. That guy's seeing a little bit of play right now. He's pretty good. <laughs> All righty. Last pack. Let's hope we can get something good. One, two, three, four, five, six. 8, 9, 10. Uh, well, well, we did get the one foil, so I guess that's good. We got Flame Sweep, Dragon Mage, Wave Crasher, and Elvish Reclaimer. All right. Well, these are going into the build a pack box, as are these. All right. What do we got next? We got an envelope. I don't know if you all know who that is. That's Exotic MTG. He actually got a hold of me. Um, uh, sometime last week and he said hey uh, I need your address I'm gonna send you a little something I have no idea what's in this so uh, we're all gonna find out together and okay come on come on so yeah exotic MTG which if you haven't checked them out which I highly doubt you haven't uh, because we've done a lot hand in hand with exotic so chances are if you if you watch here then uh, uh, you watch there as well, but if you haven't checked out exotic, we'll go ahead and put the link uh, down in the description as well There's gonna be a lot of links in this video um, And just just go check it out. So all right, let's see I'm not even gonna see you said thank you so much for the support you gave the channel And you continue to give members of this family like you make it possible to do what you do Please accept this reward for the support you gave I could sit here typing this letter to you for the next 30 minutes but the fact is, I couldn't be more thankful to have you as an exotic MTG fan. See you in the Discord, and DM me if you need anything at all. Marcus Mill. Oh, there's an address. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm sure... I'm sure he's got, you know, his address is out there. But, I don't know. I just feel weird doing that. All right, let's go ahead and... Oh, that, I forgot he does that. Okay, so this is... <coughs> excuse me. If y'all don't do this, this is a beautiful little trick. When you put it in the sleeve, of course, this is double sleeved. You put the tape on the inside and then you fold it over like that. And that way you make a little pull tab and boom, it just, it all pulls right out. Oh, right. I was trying to, I was like, chussy. I don't know, but holy cats. Okay. So right off the bat, we got a temporal manipulation. Thank you, Marcus. I appreciate that. This is kind of cool here. This is... We got a Narset, Parter of Veils, and then we got a Teferi Time Raveler. Well, 
I think Marcus wants me to play blue. I think that's what's happening here. Well, dang, man. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate that. This is awesome. And, you know, I, I think I'm actually missing one of the Teferis for my playset. And I don't remember if I still have my temporal manipulation or not. But regardless, this is awesome. Thank you so much. Um, well, I think that about wraps it up. Um, yeah, yeah, we're doing good. All right. So, uh, if you like what you saw here today, do us a huge favor. Click the like button, hit the bell notification so you can tell we have new stuff coming out. Subscribe, and then be sure to share this with your friends, family, loved ones, and pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Once again, I really, really need you to share that eBay auction. If nothing else, share it far and wide, please. And thank you. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, ChuckwagonMTG.